Yo, what's going on everybody? In this video, I gotta explain the ternary operator using C. The ternary operator, it's represented by a question mark. It's shorthand for using if-else statements. Basically, you write a condition, then add the ternary operator, a question mark. It's kind of like you're asking a question, is this condition true? If it is true, return some value. Otherwise, return some other value. I think the best way for me to explain this is to just give you a bunch of different examples. Here's the first example. We'll have two integers. Int x will equal some number, 5. That's the first thing that came to mind. Int y equals 6. I'm also going to create a variable of max. Max will store the greater of these two numbers, either 5 or 6. Well, we can do that with the ternary operator, but first we need a condition. Now, you don't necessarily need a set of parentheses to wrap your condition, but it does help with readability. The condition will be, is x greater than y? Question mark. That's the ternary operator. It's as if we're asking a question, is this true? Question mark. If it is true, we can return some value. Some value if it is true. If that condition is true, we'll return x. Colon. Think of it like otherwise. Return y. And then let's output the max variable and see what it contains. We're displaying an integer, percent %d, we will display a max. Max has a value of 6. That's the greater of these two numbers. If y were 7, though, well then, max is 7. You follow this formula. Condition, question mark, some value if that condition is true, or some value if that condition is false. Here's another example. We'll need to work with booleans this time. Include the following header file, standard bool.h. We'll create a boolean variable of is online. I'll set that to be true. We're going to print the following. We're displaying a string. Our condition is going to be is online. Since it's a boolean, we can just list it here. It is already true or false. Question mark, the ternary operator. Is this true? We're asking a question. If it is true, we'll return a string of online. Otherwise, we'll return a string of offline. Are we online? Currently, that's true, so we output online. If this were false, then we'll output offline. Here's another example. We'll determine if a number is even or odd. We'll need a number. Int number equals, I'll say 8. Using the ternary operator, we'll output if this number is even or odd. We'll use printf. We're displaying two values this time. Our number, it's an integer. The word is, then a string. Here, we'll insert our number. Then we'll use the ternary operator. This will be our condition. Is our number divisible by 2? Number modulus 2. The modulus operator gives you the remainder of any division. If a number divides by 2 evenly, the remainder is 0. Is this equal to 0? Then the ternary operator. We're asking a question. If number divides by 2 evenly, we'll output even colon, will output odd if it's false. Number is currently 8. 8 is even. If this were an odd number, like 9, well then, 9 is odd. Here's another example. We'll create a variable of age. Set it equal to some age. We'll use a condition to check to see if somebody is 18 or older. We'll use printf. We'll display a string. Then we need a condition. Is our age greater than 18? Question mark. Is that true? If it is, return a string of adult. Otherwise, return a string of child. Currently, my age is 21. That will output adult. If this were 12, this would output child. Alright, last example. 
The last example involves time. We'll display AM or PM if the hours is 12 or greater. We'll need a few things. Int hours. This will be in military time. I'll set hours to be 11. And int minutes. I'll set minutes to be 30. We'll print the time. We're displaying an integer for the hours, an integer for the minutes, and then a string for the meridium. The meridium is either AM or PM. We have to insert three values. We have hours, minutes, then the meridium. But here we'll use the ternary operator. We start with a condition. The condition will be, is hours less than 12? Question mark, ternary operator. If that's true, we're going to output AM. Otherwise, output PM. Because after 12 hours, it's PM. All right, let's see what we have currently. We do have to do a little bit of formatting though. Hours is 11, minutes is 30, our meridium is AM. I'm going to add some zero padding. Let's say that minutes is just three, three minutes after 11. We would like to add some zero padding. With these format specifiers, I'll add two zeros for padding, zero two, following the percent sign. And that's better. Then we just have to add a colon here between the hours and the minutes. Replace that space with a colon. That's a lot better. Now let's set hours to be 12. It's 1230. Well, the time will output 12.30 p.m. Hey, this is Bro from the Future. I haven't talked about pointers yet in the series, but what you could do is create a pointer that points to the first character in the strings of AM or PM, then display it. Here's how. We'll create a pointer. The data type will be char. Use an asterisk for a pointer. We'll name this pointer meridium equals We'll cut our formula for the ternary operator and paste it. Our meridium is either going to point to the string of AM or PM. Then we will display our meridium. And there we go. I think that's a lot more readable too. All right, everybody, that is the ternary operator. It's shorthand for using if else statements. You have a condition, then you use the ternary operator like you're asking a question. Is it true? If so, return some value. If not, return some other value. It's a pretty useful shortcut. And well, everybody, that is the ternary operator in C.